What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah Elizabeth. If you're new here, I am a junior at Indiana University studying media advertising and I just like making YouTube videos. This is actually my first time making a monthly favorites video, which I'm so excited about because I've watched these since I was in like sixth grade, like every month without fail. I'm just excited to share what my favorite products have been this month and maybe give you some good recommendations or something. I hope you enjoy and we'll just get into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my favorite makeup products. So the first thing everyone obviously knows, I love this, is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Blue Mascara. Yes, blue. Like blue is essential. That's the essentialist essential part of this. It's like full on blue. It's amazing, it stays on well, applies nicely, whatever. But blue is my thing because it makes your eyes pop, especially if you have blue eyes. The blue on blue, amazing. And a trick I have is applying orange and pink eyeshadow when you have blue eyes literally like complements them so well and just makes them pop to the max, which I actually did today. I used orange eyeshadow and I'm just saying, you gotta trust me on this, okay? You gotta trust me. When you wear this mascara, especially with the orange or pink, People will come up to you and be like, oh my god, your eyes are popping, your eyes are so blue today, and you'll be like, thanks, this is my mascara. But they don't have to know that. Literally, you can't even tell it's blue. Like, I'm literally wearing it right now, and you can't even tell. But like, if you look close, you can. But like, it's not even that noticeable that it's blue. It just accentuates your features and your eyes so well. And another trick, for green eyes, the voluminous purple, it's like a purpley maroon one, makes green eyes go crazy. L'Oreal has so many mascara colors and they're all so good, so highly recommend. Another eyelash product is this like serum. It's not exactly a serum, but it's just like a lash booster. It's the Lancome Booster XL and it's just white. Everything about it is white and it dries clear, which is awesome, but it grows your eyelashes so fast and makes them look super thick and literally almost makes you look like you have fake eyelashes on. This does wonders, you can put it on before you go to sleep, before you do your makeup, no makeup, days, whatever, it's amazing, highly recommend. I got it from Ulta, it was like $30 I think and it has changed my eyelashes for the better. This might be a little basic of me but I've been loving the James Charles Artistry Palette and I got the mini one, which is actually the most perfect size ever because I could take it with me to like friends' houses to get ready or I, it's just very easy to like store and everything. But it's just been so, so fun to mess around with these colors and try new things and everything, which was like his whole point. But especially right now, I kind of like match my eyeshadow with what I wear. Not really today. I did this look in my self-care Saturday video. I wore like a green tank top and I used this eyeshadow and it was so cute. Recently, all of October, I've been using these oranges and reds kind of. They've been amazing again for the blue eye gang. Amazing. I actually used this one today. I just put a little bit on. I didn't want that pigmented stuff, but yeah, again, super pigmented, amazing, portable literally all the colors of the rainbow definitely definitely recommend especially the mini version so going on with like the morphe brand their setting spray amazing i've been sleeping on it for so long this is my first morphe setting spray bottle and i don't know what i've been doing why have i not been using it i don't know but this one is the mattifying continuous setting spray and it's amazing. I actually went home for like a week a while ago and brought all my makeup but forgot my powder. And I was freaking out, but then I just used this without powder and it literally kept my makeup on. Like, you don't even need to use powder for this. Literally mattifies your whole face. I'm wearing it right now and like, look how matte she looks. Uh. Are you kidding? My favorite. It was only $16, got it from Ulta, amazing, 10 out of 10. And then last, like, makeup product 
skincare or whatever is the physician's formula Roselle day oil free serum it's, i don't really view it as a serum like i've never really used it as a serum in a night routine or something whoa that was so cool it's just like white and sparkly a little bit of pink and it smells amazing like if there was a perfume of this it would be over for you it'd be over for y'all I use this no matter if I'm not wearing makeup that day or if I am. I always put it right here, like where I would apply a highlighter and um, it shows up really nicely, really soft pink when you're not wearing makeup. And then days like today when I am wearing makeup, I put this on like after I put on foundation and powder and everything. This is like kind of like the final thing I do is I put it right here and then I put like a powder highlighter on over it to kind of like set it. I don't know if you can even tell, but it works amazing, smells awesome. I'm a loyal physician's formula person, highly recommend. Okay, now I'm moving on to skincare. So I've also been a super loyal person to this for a year or two now at this point. It's the Heritage Store Rosewater Facial Toner. And I used to use the Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner, but that just had a lot of extra unnecessary ingredients that weren't doing my skin wonders. This is so hydrating, so natural, smells good all around, so much better for your skin, and maybe even a little more affordable. I literally got this from TJ Maxx. Marshalls and TJ Maxx always has this stocked, never going back to Thayer's. This will always be my baby. It's an essential of nighttime and morning routine. I just put it on a cotton pad and dab it in my face, which brings me to these babies. These are like the Garnier, I think it's the Garnier Eco Pads, and they're just reusable pad, like pads, I guess, to use makeup remover and things like this toner. These were only $8, but in the long run, you save so much money because you don't have to keep buying bags and bags of disposable cotton rounds and you save so much space in the landfill. If everyone did this, there would be so much space. I don't know about just yourself, but they're so soft. Like, look at this. I talked about this a lot on my Instagram story as an M daily and I'm just in shock at these like I've already used them and washed them once and I'm about to order another box of these because they're so amazing one thing I've been needing especially like in the colder months because my skin gets paler and the redness gets more noticeable is this first aid beauty redness relief serum um it just goes like that i squirt it out i put it on before my moisturizer and everything and it has like caffeine in it whatever that means and aloe super natural ingredients and everything it really does like eliminate a lot of redness and puffiness on my face especially in the morning when i just wake up it's awesome only like $15 too and super good for your skin. So definitely recommend another that. Skincare, another skincare product I'm so loyal to and will never stop using. Like I think about if they ever discontinued this, I would go to every Ulta and buy everyone just so I would have like a life supply because I can't imagine life without it. It's the niacinamide and zinc serum kind of from The Ordinary. And again, I put this on before my moisturizer and it helps to like minimize my pores and regulate sebum <laughs> and just all in all helps me not break out. And again, affordable, only like $7. So if you have problems with like oily skin or can't stop breaking out like me, you just get it, just get it, you need it. Okay, now I'm moving on to the randomest things ever, but they're still my favorites of the month. So first thing is this bag. I'm just putting the book in here for like decoration. And it was in here the last time I was carrying it, but like my Pinterest dreams are living. Okay, this is also a favorite, it's the kombucha. <laughs> but like that is just adorable, are you kidding? And I've been wanting one for a while, but the ones I saw were like $30 and I was like, 
no, no, uh-uh. But I went to Earthbound in the mall and I saw this on sale for $5. And I was like, I need her because I am gonna bring this to the grocery store whenever I go, put my avocados and oranges and peppers and everything in here so I don't have to use plastic. Are you kidding? I am beyond excited about this. I cannot even express, like I could just talk about it forever. Get one, it's amazing and perfect and awesome. Another random thing is this candle from Five Below. I love it. They were $3. They had like five different Halloween scents. This one is the Empress and it just kind of looks cool. I'm a fan of the tall candles. Highly recommend the Empress one. Literally smells like what fall smells like. Like this will make your room smell like fall. Like just fall. Amazing. Highly recommend going to Five Below. They have a lot of good Halloween stuff. So um, another candle I love is the Bath and Body Focus candle. I'm like trying to stop myself from going all the way through this because I know I could in a day. I have so many issues with focusing, which I should get addressed and not just play music and light candles to deal with it, but it helps. And it smells so good. Their whole aromatherapy line just does amazing things for me. I have two of these stress relief candles as well, which are awesome, but the focus one is definitely stable this month. And this one, I don't know if it's embarrassing or like, I don't know, but I'm proud of it. So I think everyone needs a Squishmallow in their life. I don't care if I look like a five-year-old right now, you need one. I got one last year with all of my roommates and I was like, oh, this is stupid. Like what, why are you guys so obsessed with these? It's a life changer. It's a life changer. Where have I been? I'm like, what? Especially sometimes if I have like neck pain, using this as a pillow is game changer. Like your head just sinks in. It's a cloud. Pillow companies could never. They could never. Plus it's cute and they come with like names, which is like a bonus, but like this is the best pillow I've ever slept on. So I, I think everyone needs one. Most of my friends have one and we're all obsessed with them. I don't care if I'm a five-year-old saying this, but please get yourself one. Like they're literally at like Walmart, Target, Walgreens, and they're like $20. I don't care if it's basic. Literally get yourself a Squishmallow right now, right now. Get online and order yourself a Squishmallow. I don't care. Anyways, moving on from Squishmallows and other random things, I have a few like hair care, body care things that I wanted to talk about. This body butter is from the brand called Sippy Suds. Um, this is the scent Pina Colada. It smells amazing, just like Pina Colada. Sippy Suds is a small black women veteran owned business. Uh-huh. So all I'm saying is y'all better like go crazy on their website because their products are amazing and amazing people run it. Follow their Instagram as well. They post pretty frequently when they have new products and sales and everything. But yeah, I found this this summer and all of their products are like based on drinks. So like Pina Colada, I have like a margarita one or peach martini body spray, but the body butter is to die for. I'm never going back to any other body butter. This, especially like after you've shaved and like you're a little tan in the summer or whatever, makes you glow, makes you shine. I'll put it on my hand to show you the amount of shine it gives. You need to get it, it smells amazing. Please get it. Um, and then other things, these hair clips are amazing. I've been obsessed with these for literal months but these in particular keep my hair up so well i got them from alta in a package duo thingy whatever <laughs> i constantly use them whether i am putting my hair up to wash my face do homework if it's a bad hair day whatever but 
but it just looks super cute in my opinion. And then last of these products is this OGX Moroccan Curling Perfection Defining Cream. I know you're supposed to stay away from OGX, but this is my favorite. It's so freaking good. After I get out of the shower, I let my hair dry like a little bit so it's not soaking wet, but still like pretty wet. And then I just put some in my hand, scrunch it up and like leave it in there, just scrunch it. It just defines my natural waves and adds a little bit to them, keeps them in place. Literally, you will look like a beach goddess after this. Also so affordable, $7, got it from literally like CVS. Amazing for the natural wave gang. Going on to music and TV show related things. I am constantly playing music. Like I was upset when I had to turn the music off to record this video because I'm just like constantly listening to it. And my favorite playlist in the world that keeps me sane keeps me going, keeps me happy, everything, is this playlist that I made in March, like during full on quarantine. And literally just kept me going the whole time. I play it while I do my homework, while I'm in the shower, while I'm cooking, while I'm cleaning my room while I'm driving. Oh, especially while you're driving, you feel like you're in a coming of age movie, like your life is a movie, like whatever. It just makes me happy all around, I'll listen to it. And then I made this playlist as well. This one is essential for studying. It's just kind of like rainy day coffee shop study vibes that I could not study without. Like if I have trouble concentrating, I'll be like, oh, right, my playlist, I put it on and I'm grinding, I'm grinding. Plus, especially since it's been so rainy lately, with like the window open, listening to the rain with like your essential oils going, game changer, game changer, game changer. Please like literally listen to this, do your homework to this. It'll be amazing. And then TV show wise, this is, also essential, it's The Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. I'm pretty sure it came out in 2018, which I didn't know. I don't know why I haven't seen it since then, but I think season two just came out. I've only seen season one and the intricacy, the detail, the mind bogglingness, the jump scares, the spookiness. Hands down, one of the best shows I've ever seen. That's saying a lot because Dexter and Lucifer, Shameless are up there. This doesn't even compare. Like the time and effort and detail and thought that went into this. Actually, I think it's based on a true story, but just in general, watch The Haunting of Hill House. Definitely the Halloween vibes if you want a good show to watch. It's amazing. That pretty much covers most of my favorites for this month. Things I've been using every single day. Let me know if you have any questions about them. I really enjoyed showing you guys and just talking about them. So I'll definitely be linking all of these products down below as well as playlists that I made. Definitely check that out. It'll all be down there for you guys. And yeah, just comment if you have any questions. If you made it this far, comment your favorite Netflix show at the moment because I want to know ever since I finished Hillside, I need another show to watch. So comment your favorite show below so I know you got this far if you're a real one. And yeah, just stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe or you're fake. Just kidding, I still like you no matter what. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.